So I wanted to send you this message of encouragement and because we all go through it we you know we feel like we're getting nowhere and and we're just not making any progress and uh yeah i i have that all the time and i'm sure you have have that as well you you know you you work away on whatever you're doing a project or uh, you know work and you just feel like you're not getting anywhere and it's just you know it's just what it is you you just because when you work on something it can just sometimes feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over again or doing the same thing all the time and you're like is it even worth carrying on and yeah so so i wanted to send you this uh the thing that i found today <laughs> so um yeah i had in december let's start there in, in December last year, um, that's eight months ago now, um, I got this system um, of new machines for my plastic recycling uh, business. And so I, I got a shredder where I can um, shred bottle caps um, or I can shred my plastic now uh, into smaller pieces so they don't take as much space and they also are nicer and easier and quicker to melt as well and nicer to mix with the plastic too and yeah it's just uh it's it's improved a lot uh, my my whole process and then i've got this uh, big melting machine where i can melt the plastic and then i've got this um, mold and a press um, where i can make sheets like uh, fairly big sheets at least compared to what I made before I made these tiny um, sheets that came out of a little sandwich press <laughs> and so I've got these massive um, sheets now they when I when they come out there they're about two almost two and a half kilograms it's amazing and um, yeah so when I got that in December I was so excited and I started um, basically, once I had set it all up, um, I started immediately trying it out and, and I was really happy with those sheets. And, uh, but of course, that with new things, there's also uh, new problems. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and those problems, they, they basically um, started to get annoying over time. Uh, the, the sheets that came out of that press, they, they are pretty bumpy. The reason for the bumps is that the the plastic is actually um, shrinking quite a lot as it cools down, and uh, because it's in a mold, first it has the full support of the mold, and then while it's shrinking, it doesn't have the the that support anymore, and it just creates you know it's not completely straight anymore. It's it's got these little surfaces, and and the things that I wanna make. Um, I don't want these bumps on there, so I want a nice plain surface um, to be able to, yeah, to, to create nice things. And um, so I had to um, make that surface plain somehow. Um, I was able to um, just make that surface nice and, and straight with the CNC machine. Um, I just used a, a fairly large router bit and just, um, yeah, cut a surface. Um, basically make it like a surface prepare um, uh, step and however I had to do that basically on the whole surface where I wanted to cut my pieces out and also on the bottom of it so I had to turn it around and, and do that on the bottom as well and then I had these clamps where the the workpiece is or the yeah the, the plate is clamped onto the base of the CNC machine and so I had to cut around them when I was doing the planning. And um, just for stability, I had to also leave an edge on the side. And then even sometimes I had to put a screw in the middle to just hold it down. Because the the whole sheet while I was cutting it was also warping. And it, it was basically like bending. And um, yeah, so because of that bending, um, the the surface or the... The thickness of the sheet was not everywhere the same and, and it was the, the same uh, when I turned the sheet around to do the other side 
um, and it basically created this thin layer thin part in the middle and then a thicker part on the outside and that was just annoying because I want a nice straight surface um, to know how deep I need to cut because if I cut too deep the piece that I'm cutting out is just not holding on um, and it basically goes flying into the vacuum if it's small enough or or it just flops around and and the machine just cuts the edges um, not nicely and yeah so I, I got all these little annoying issues with that and it just took ages to do as well and um, so I knew that I have to at some point invest in something um, to to make the um, the surface straight and now finally after seven eight months I got uh, this planer and I can now start planing those sheets and make them nice and straight make the surface on both sides um, so I basically turn it around and, and push it through many times through that planer and I can make those sheets really nice everywhere the same I don't have those edges outside or where, where the where the clamps were sitting when, when I had to do it with the CNC and yeah it's just so much better and uh, then there were new problems as well so I had to um, uh, build in or modify my vacuum because the those shavings from the planing were just so so much volume that I couldn't even do one sheet um, to I couldn't even do one sheet without emptying out the vacuum because because it was just so much volume and uh, now I, I um, yeah I modified the vacuum it's got a big drum underneath now you can see it there and uh, and it's it's taking now at least eight nine sheets worth of shavings and then I can empty it out later and deal with those shavings which, which is also a new problem but that's not what it's about now right now it's about that I've got these um, great uh, flat sheets and I was just so delighted today when I put one of those sheets in the CNC machine and I just had to basically fix them on uh, four sides and it was all nice and straight and I could start cutting my part that I actually wanted to cut out immediately so I was like yeah that's that's when I had this thought of oh my god there's actually progress and I I saved so much time now because of that and uh, I can yeah I can actually get more pieces out because I don't have all these edges and all these weird uh, things that I have to go through and also I have uh, yeah it's also quick and easy and it's both sides nice and straight and uh, the, the pieces that come out of it now are just really nice and yeah so just yeah I just wanted to share that story just to basically remind you to think about the the progress that has happened in the past and um, yeah when you when you work on some sort of project you know when you're working on something or just it work in general you know you're working away in your company um, or you are learning something new you, you're studying and you know look think back to the beginnings how green you were how, how um, you know unex inexperienced and and you know how slow you maybe were or yeah how or stupid sometimes uh, and yeah just think back to that and just see how much progress you've actually made and and then you can actually look into the future and think yes I'm going to make progress because I'm I keep learning I keep improving uh, you know and that's just really encouraging to keep going and carry on and look forward and yeah I just thought I really wanted to share, share that with you so hopefully you, you got something out of that so thanks for watching to here thank you very much